No. Ooh, Shadow Dancer is really awkward in this matchup. We have a turn one that's worthwhile. And we have a turn two if we draw a Cryptographer. That would be great. Shadow Dancer is really awkward because my opponent can leave it up and then just farm healing. So I would like to avoid it. Desolate is a bit easier to control. Meh. No! Bad deck. Okay. That's awkward. I mean, we've got some cantrips, so we have a decent chance of... We have, we have three extra looks at Crypto next time. As long as she didn't kill this. Which would be super awkward. Okay. Wow, that is... That was some definitive play from my opponent there. So we can clear this. But we have to leave this up. We can get rid of the healing tile, which is awesome. Um... Punch this. You can come here, maybe. So let's see the Inkling Surge goes on the Monotile first. Sarlacc's not bad. That's a good option. Oh, I know I'm replacing this. Right, come on, Cryptographer. Never lucky. <laughs> I keep I replaced this into Varex and then replaced Varex and drew this. We can do a massive next turn with... Double Furiosa BBS though. Make some 3 3s. Have some fun. And in the meantime, here's Sarlacc. Ooh, Blood Moon. That's a good draw. Dezo wins a game again. Oh, yeah. Dezo is so good. Not as bad as with Whispers of the Sands. Yeah, Whispers. Whispers and Gust are so awkward. Like, trying to calculate the maths on whether Gust is, you know, how likely Gust is to kill your opponent's minions from, like, different positions. She didn't have the heal. So we can kill this. Then what? I can't reach this without lure. So maybe we should try and find that. Or a ritual banishing would be, would be easier. Not playing this right now. I can tell you that much. Another Sphere. Sphere does make killing the Scintilla a bit easier. It makes Demonic Lure a way to actually remove this. And I can still do Furiosa Shadow Spawn if it doesn't work. Yes, okay. Let's play conservatively then. So we'll sack this into here. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I can, I can keep my Wraith thing alive. I can lure this onto the Shadow Creep tile. Pleasingly. Kill that. Um, deploy a Furiosa. Man, Sphere of Darkness putting in the what? Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be so big. <laughs> Dude, that play before was insane. 1220, wow. Do you have any hint for a beginner? Silver 15. Um, yes, I have lots of different hints depending on what you're what you're after. Um, number one is make sure your deck has decent uh, mana curve of creatures, which is uh, in fact you can you can see a little display of it above your deck, I think, in the game itself. If you laid out your if you kind of drew a graph of your deck based on cost, so like one, two, three, four, it should have a nice little curve over the top that like peaks at two or three and tails off down to five or six. And then maybe you have a seven drop or two at the end. And most decks want to look roughly like that, where you have a smooth distribution basically of costs. And that will give you a higher chance of drawing the right cards when you need them basically. You want more cheap cards because you need to see them earlier. Um, that's probably the one biggest thing that will help you um another thing is try and pay it try and play slowly like think about different places you can stand like with this if i want to attack the sunriser there's two places i can stand to do it and they have different meanings if i'm going to lure this I don't, I don't have a demonic lure but you know if i can put this somewhere else there's any number of places i could put it um so where do i want to be after i've made my attacks those actually all have different ramifications which you'll learn as you play but 
um, just starting to think about like why might this make a difference we'll pay dividends later on I should probably actually make a decision I mean yeah let's just make some huge things and then run away from the sunriser I guess I can kind of I can back off uh, put this down here oh I don't have time uh, uh, uh. nope didn't do it <laughs> Oh no, if she draws Tempest, it's going to be so sad. <sighs> Wasted a crypto as well. <laughs> Remind me not to be so helpful next. Oh no, she had it as well. Man. I guess she would have had the clear anyway. Because she can use the Sunriser to clear off the 3 3 ones. Um, Rob kills again. Really wish cards added a second to the timer. I would like that. It, it didn't actually make a difference. Because she can heal this to clear off the two that would be 3 3s. Uh, right. This is where Velum Scry comes in. Because we need that stuff. I can kill this with Lure, and I probably should. I can then use Blood Type Priestess to start building a board. And that's about it. Probably shouldn't hold on to this Furiosa. I'll save it for later. Okay, that's good. Um, do I want to kill this or draw cards? Or both. Like, I can kill this. Or the Centella. Leave this all further away. I can kill the Centella and then Vellum Scry the Sarlacc. Leaving the Sunriser out of range. And that means my opponent doesn't get a double activation off <clears throat> Sunforge Lance the next turn. That might actually be better. I don't trust guns. Oh, right. Let's do this. <clears throat> I'm following now for further streams and lessons. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad that was helpful. Um, I think we're still going to lose this game, though. Ah! <laughs> At least that doesn't do anything anymore. Right, I need Ritual Banishing. Stat. Hmm. <laughs> I think we're dead. Well, there's a bit of a difference between Ritual Banishing when you're on 11 and Ritual Banishing when you're on 2. Yeah, that'll do it. Hmm. That's the awkwardness of Swarm. Like, your best plays are so vulnerable to AoE. Like, the, the rope mistake didn't actually matter. Should have been able to kill everything anyway, I think. So, it just meant that, you know, I was able to recover with the Vellum Scry, but you do lose so much tempo, and the second Tempest obviously put the game away. 